Hello and welcome to a My Stamp Lady video. Today's kids craft is really very quick and simple. I'm going to show you how to make a paper pinwheel. And it is so easy that anybody can do it. So you want to start with a square of cardstock. Or I mean cardstock or printed paper. I like working with the printed paper because it's a little bit lighter. This piece is six by six. First thing you want to do is take your paper and fold it on in half with the corners meeting there, unfold that, turn it 90 degrees, and fold it again. Unfold, and now you have an X through your cardstock. And you or a child can take and along this line here with some scissors, cut up the fold line. You don't want to go all the way to the middle, you want to leave some middle so that you have room to put your center pin and to fold up your points. Go around to all four of your pieces of cardstock, or I'm sorry, all four of your corners. Okay, I am going to then, you take every other corner and bring it into the center. I'm just going to use a little bit of adhesive to hold it until I get it all done. This adhesive would not hold it long term. I am just putting it there to hold it until I put something through the center. And every other point comes up. You don't want to fold it too, uh, you know, crease that fold because you want to be able to have it pop up like this. Fold up and come out in the center. And look at how easy that is. You have your pinwheel. Anybody can do this. Now I'm going to go in the center my piercing tool and going into a, a mat, a foam mat, and I'm kind of wiggling it around. Now this is the part that you'll probably want to help, especially if it's a young child, help them with. And I'm wiggling it around to make my hole just a bit bigger. You could also um, punch right next to it, kind of like this. There we go. And make that bigger like that. Okay. I chose to use a little rhinestone brad that I had, and I put that in the center, and then just pulled back my prongs, and that will hold that. Now this is something, maybe you could use it with a banner, um, use it just with some decorations, but if you want to make a pinwheel that actually turns, and this one, instead of the little, instead of the little um, brad, I put a push pin, and I only had skewer sticks, and they're really not quite big enough to do this because I kind of split that. So find a bigger dowel, but dowels are easy to find. I think they even have them in, they have them in craft stores. Our Walmart has one, um, hardware stores. And as long as your hole is big enough, the pin will hold it into the dowel and then it will actually spin. This one I was kind of... Um, well, I suppose you could put it on, you could hot glue it to the top of a pin and then put it in a dowel and it would spin. But I was kind of thinking more decoration with this one. So we have the non-spinning one and one that you could spin. Make sure your hole is big enough so that it spins. You can make little ones and put them on a card like this. If you have any questions about making pinwheels, be sure to contact me, chris at mystamplady.com. Thanks for watching.